Wow. So, good evening. And uh, this is a point in our Wednesday news broadcast that we like to call Engine Behind the Power. And here we have uh, a host of personalities that we, we have on every week. And we talk about various aspects of themselves or, more importantly, what it is that they do. And in this case, this evening, we have a gentleman who's a public servant and he works for the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission as a commissioner. And he's here to talk about his particular docket is here to talk about the commission and some of the things that are happening at the commission that you, as our dear viewer, should be interested in. Karibu sana, sir. Yes, sir. Karibu commissioner. Thank you. Karibu Thank you. sana. Yeah. So uh, initially, when we were going on break, uh, I, 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 I mentioned uh, about the time that uh, you know you, you you were just kind of getting into the commission. Can you tell us just briefly about uh, who you are, what your background is, and what exactly you do at the Commission, for the sake of our viewers? Thank you very much, uh, uh, viewers and uh, other listeners. Uh, my name is Dr. Dabar Abdi Malim. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a member of the uh, Commissioner with the EF Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission. Mm -hmm. I, uh, in the Commission, I chair um, the, one of the Commission's committee, which is uh, uh, prevention, public education and awareness and engagement of the public in regards to uh, the fight against corruption. Mm -hmm. um, I come from the health background and I'm a nurse by profession and I have a PhD in, in nursing. Um, I have uh, a long, uh, maybe a, a very long history about uh, academia, about mm -hmm. over 20 years together with mm -hmm. both the college and the university teaching. Mm -hmm. And um, in the last few years, I spent um, more on governance. Uh, I'm one of the commissioners uh, or members of the transition authority, which set up the devolution process, mm -hmm. and then at the commission at the moment. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why I am. And uh, at the commission, of course, uh, we'll talk more about what we do. And today also want to like to inform the public mm -hmm. about the very important day of the International That's coming on 9th. Day, on 9th. We, we, so we'll address that thank you. In, in, the, in the moments to come. Yeah. Uh, but just a little bit, uh, just before we proceed, um, a lot of people look at the people who do the job that you do and then your fellow colleagues with something akin to wonder. What is it that motivates someone to present themselves as a public servant and and second particularly in the uh, organization that you work for that is the ethics and anti-corruption commission what would you answer to such a person uh, I, I think um, it must be for someone to work in such institutions uh, it, it you must have the drive and you must mm -hmm. have actually the calling to do that mm -hmm. i i have a uh, very strong belief and particularly in my faith. Mm -hmm. uh, corruption is one of the very abhorrible, what you call uh, the, the acts or vices. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's very much uh, distasteful in our religion. Mm -hmm. And um, we are told in the, in the teachings that uh, whoever gives bribes mm -hmm. or whoever takes both of them uh, as evil as mm -hmm. the taker. Mm -hmm. And it is very, very well uh, actually articulated that the fight against corruption is a calling, and that's some, some of the things that actually drives me. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, uh, at the back of that is the damage that the corruption causes to the, to the, to the, to the society and the whole fabric of our, mm -hmm. the whole world. Mm -hmm. So unless you have really the passion to, to, to fight, mm -hmm. it might be difficult. Of course, I agree with you, some people, mm -hmm. when you ask them, say, what, what do you go to do mm -hmm. there? Mm -hmm. And uh, at times you say, you know, you, you have to, we must have people who mm -hmm. really work in this place. The work is very um, challenging, mm -hmm. but I think we have a commission, we have a technical people, the secretariat, and uh, even ourselves mm -hmm. who are really uh, able to uh, shoulder that. Mm -hmm. It's a very interesting and uh, very challenging, mm -hmm. and it's really a calling. And unless you have that calling to fight the corruption, of course, as you said, many people might not. But at, at the same time, you know, uh, of course, of other people say that it might not be a good place to work. Mm -hmm. Believe me, we advertise for every little job. Right. You see the number of Kenyans who are applying. Mm -hmm. So people really, just from outside, they say it's not good to work, mm -hmm. but the number of applications when you look, there mm -hmm. are people who have the, the passion response. to work, yes. Right. Yeah. Right, right. So it's really challenging, but I think uh, you must have the drive, really, and the passion mm -hmm. to fight corruption as an evil. So really, it's not just any other job. No. It, it has to have, uh, you know, with it a, a level of personal yes. conviction. Exactly. And then passion, as you said. Absolutely, say. absolutely. Yeah. Now, your, your docket uh, deals with, among other things, uh, public awareness and... and, and 
Uh, what would you say is the significance of this aspect in the fight against corruption? Um, as part of the, uh, if you maybe go back to the, the mandates of the uh, Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, right. uh, as both in the Constitution and also in the Act, the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Act 2011, mm -hmm. is very well articulated what are the mandates. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, the people, the major one that they are aware about is the one of uh, law enforcement, mm -hmm. particularly investigations, mm -hmm. taking somebody to court or uh, through the DPP. Or the rest. Mm -hmm. But the most important thing mm -hmm. is really creating awareness and enlisting the public support mm -hmm. in the fight against corruption. Mm -hmm. This is very, very critical. And this is one area that we are not v doing very well. Mm -hmm. How do you really uh, make the public that don't pay for bribes mm -hmm. for a service that is offered free? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, don't get free mm -hmm. for a service you are supposed to pay for, pay for because it, yeah. we need revenue, we need revenue. Mm -hmm. And if we don't pay for what we expected to pay, mm -hmm. then we are not really aware of what we are doing. Mm -hmm. So the point is we are, the public education awareness is really enlisting the support of the public, mm -hmm. plus uh, to show the, the responsibility of fighting corruption. It's not ethics and anti-corruption. Yes, it is maybe the driver, it is maybe the main institution vested with this, mm -hmm. but it is each and everybody's mm -hmm responsibility, me and you, starting with myself mm -hmm. and to the general public. Mm -hmm. If this is really what we want, mm -hmm. you must really stand up to fight corruption. Mm -hmm. You must be willing to come and report about corruption. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the major activities that we do in the, in the commission. Mm -hmm. Enlisting the support of the, of the public, mm -hmm. teaching them what is it. What is that? Um, it's not only corruption, by the way. Mm -hmm. And ethical conduct. Mm -hmm. You are expected to be at the office at 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. You go there at 10 mm -hmm. and you leave at 4. No, this is, is interesting that you, yes. you're, you're bringing this up because I believe um, from the people that we've spoken to in, yeah. in, our, in our course of work, we, we feel that the, the majority of the public are sensitized yeah. and aware of only the second part yeah. of, of, of your job. Yeah. And it's even in the title, the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, mm -hmm. many people are aware of the anti-corruption aspect, but, but very not, little about the ethics. Yeah, Can you tell us more absolutely. about that? And that's very crucial, actually. If you don't have the ethical you know, uh, uh, values in yourself, mm -hmm. and this is where corruption thrives, mm -hmm. If we don't have values, if we don't have the uh, codes of ethics, mm -hmm. uh, you belong to the, uh, the, the uh, what you call the, um, um, the public, uh, maybe um, the, your regulatory body is the mm -hmm. Kenya, what do you call the? Uh, the uh, communications, communications authorities. authorities. Yes, yes. If you don't really abide those codes mm -hmm. of conduct mm -hmm. in your reporting and your delivery of service, mm -hmm. You, you, are, you are really unethical and you are worse than somebody who is corrupt. Mm -hmm. If you are a medical person mm -hmm. and you are really uh, not taking the people the way they expected. Mm -hmm. I was seeing just the, the head of state complaining mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. people beating the, the police. Mm -hmm. And he mentioned very important aspect. Mm -hmm. We must respect the police mm -hmm. because they are on service. But mm -hmm. he also said the police must also what? Respect, respect the people the they people. take care of. Correct. This ethical aspect is what many Kenyans are not mm -hmm. really abiding. Mm -hmm. As I mentioned, one of the resources that is stolen and not accounted for mm -hmm. is time. Mm -hmm. Because we are paid at the end of the month mm -hmm. and you work five days in a week. Mm -hmm. If you come at nine or at ten and mm -hmm. then leave at four mm -hmm. or whatever, take you have a one hour break, is two hours break, mm -hmm. you're also stealing public mm -hmm. resources mm -hmm. which are not accountable because you are paid according to the end of the day or at the end of the month the number of hours you work per, per week. That's if right. you're a teacher, mm -hmm. You have this number of uh, lessons to cover in a week. Mm -hmm. If you don't do, mm -hmm. the students will lose. So this ethical aspect is very important. And this is really where, where we are really a little bit uh, far behind. It has been said that Kenya is one of the um, most corrupt nations um, on, on the planet of Earth. And, and, and that uh, assertion is debatable in many aspects. But if we were to take it at that value, uh, at face value, and, and, and actually believe that Kenya uh, is, is one of the most corrupt countries in the world. And, and, and therefore, an institution like yours has uh, a significance that, it, that cannot be overemphasized. Mm -hmm. Is it right to say, in your opinion, that perhaps the main cause of that sort of rating is ethics or a lack of it in our society? Yes, I could say. First of all, I don't agree that Kenya is the, corrupt, the most corrupt country in the world. Mm -hmm. I think we are, we are so liberal and we talk so openly about mm -hmm. corruption, but there are other institutions, other places where corruption is. So, so there is indeed a difference between. <laughs> we are so open. Actually, we are open yes, about we it. Are, we are very proud to talk ill about ourselves. Right. right. Yeah. 
and very little, uh, you know, uh, very scanty with when it is the good aspect of our country. Mm -hmm. I don't think, you're, of course, Kenyans are corrupt. So the perception is, the perception is not entirely is, of course, correct. The perception is there. Mm -hmm. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure whether we are the most corrupt country in the world. For sure, we are right. not. Right. But we are among the corrupt people. Correct. The issue of the values, um, uh, which, which we are talking about, the ethics, mm -hmm. which starts actually at the home side, at mm -hmm. your home, at the house, mm -hmm. from the school and whatever. Mm -hmm. If we have not nurtured this among our children, mm -hmm. And by the way, uh, corruption is not something which came yesterday. Corruption mm -hmm. is the Bible, it, it's the Quran. Mm -hmm. It's what the whole people used to, to do that. It is something which is since human beings came to, uh, mm -hmm. you know, to, to the existence. Yes, yes. it's Christian. Mm -hmm. And the point is, how do we really, I agree with you, we have lost a lot of values, particularly on ethical issues. Mm -hmm. During my, 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 when I'm growing up, mm -hmm. I was a child of the society. Mm -hmm. If I do anything wrong, anybody on the street could whip me, mm -hmm. and my father would say, thank you very much for doing a good job. Mm -hmm because he was teaching, the community was teaching me what to do. Today, right. you can't attempt that. You will see somebody, his child or her child does something bad, mm -hmm. he steals, mm -hmm. you follow up, mm -hmm. and say, it's none of your business. Correct. As he's stolen Correct. from you, mm -hmm. you see. Mm -hmm. You have seen how much resources mm -hmm. the government spent on invigilating examination. Mm -hmm. I can never ever imagine mm -hmm. in my life, mm -hmm. looking at the, the paper of my next, uh, what do you call my classmate in the, in the next desk? Forget to copy about. What they forget had. about. I can't even remember any policeman. Mm -hmm. In your time. In, when you in my time. Yes. But imagine the resources, cabinet secretaries, mm -hmm. PSs, asking thousands, supervising. In fact, a student not to ch not to look at the paper or right. something else. Something is wrong. This is really why we have lost, mm -hmm. and we have also been told where parents contribute money. Mm -hmm. To facilitate to, 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 uh, cheating. Yes. Right. If your child is aware, your father, your, 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 the parent is contributing for, to facilitate the stealing, mm -hmm. then what will make the child know to do? But, this but is the ethical aspect which we are missing. But Dr. Malib, yes. where did the rain start beating us, so to speak? I, I wish I knew. In between the time that you were in school, in between some of the time some of us were in school, and yes. we, we never saw policemen uh, policing an examination. Absolutely. In between then and now, what happened? I, I think we have, we have really, of course, uh, we, of course, urbanization and mm -hmm. things must have taken. I'm not very good, actually, in, uh, to exactly what it is. Right. But I think as a parent, we have also become very, very busy. Mm -hmm. uh, take, for instance, me and you, how, mm -hmm. many, how many hours are we with our children? We right. live very early in the morning. Right. We are late at this moment at the, at the place working. of work. Right. Yes. Right. The mothers also who before used to be at home and to bring right. up the children are no longer, are no longer in there. Yeah. And uh, our children are really at the mercy of other yeah, people to support givers. us, yes. Right. We don't have that extended, you know, what you call the family mm -hmm. members who used to take care of grandparents and the rest. Yes, yes. These are some of the issues which mm -hmm. we have gone, um, lost. And plus, what is in our own homes, I think, mm -hmm. the, the TVs mm -hmm. and other things mm -hmm. also, teach us mm -hmm. some of these other things. Mm -hmm. But I think really as a parent, we cannot keep on scapegoating. Mm -hmm. We really need to go back. Mm -hmm. I tell my child, mm -hmm. stealing the rubber mm -hmm. of your colleague or picking it without his or her permission is, is the beginning wrong. of an ethical practice. Right. Because if right. you really, I, I, if I say, Michael, may I have your, your rubber, mm -hmm. and uh, you say, please take or not take. Mm -hmm. And if I pick it, they say, oh, what have I done? I've only paired your, your rubber. Right. That right. is the beginning. And right. I think those are the fundamental things which really we need to look at. As and they say, charity begins at, at home. home. And then also we need to look, to look at the role of the religious people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where are we vis-a-vis uh, their role, mm -hmm. if, you, if, the, if, the, if, the, if your sheikh or your pastor is on the screen for mm -hmm. having stolen uh, public, uh, public funds, or the, the where would you go? Very good the, question. The, we have a Somali saying that, mm -hmm. that uh, when a problem comes, people run to the mosque. But if the problem comes from the mosque, where do you run? <laughs> right. This is really where right. we are. Right. I think there is a lot which we really need to look at. Before we come to corruption, can we go to the ethical Ethics. aspects? That's where we are in this. Now, sir, as, 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 as a person whose job it is to focus on this very thing and, 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 and include the aspect of uh, public participation and public awareness, how would you say, um, or what role do you feel the commission that you work for yeah. uh, uh, should play or is playing in, in remedying some of these things? I, I agree that we're, uh, we're, we're dealing with it kind of after the fact. Mm -hmm. We're firefighting yeah. after the fire has already broken mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. But w what sort of role are you, are, you, are you taking? What sort of interventions, what sort of remedies okay. are you employing to be Thank able to make I sure? I think that's a very, very good uh, question which you have raised. Uh, and um, for the public's, inform uh, public's uh, knowledge, mm -hmm. first of all, EACC has taken part 
in the uh, reforms in the Ministry of Education. Mm -hmm. We have given our inputs in the preparation of all the curricula, particularly right now and the, mm -hmm. the, uh, the, the nursery and mm -hmm. the, the, the preschool mm -hmm. and the rest. Mm -hmm. We have given our input together with the, um, the Kenya Curriculum Institute of Curriculum Development, mm -hmm. where we have given our input. And now if you look some of the books which mm -hmm. are being used, mm -hmm. it really teaches about that. Mm -hmm. the, the, the documents, the, the books that the students use really... The new curriculum. Yes, in the new yes. curriculum. Yes. It really shows that uh, for a child to do this, this is... Mm -hmm. There are stories, of course, the, the writers, I mean, mm -hmm. the, the education is known. But mm -hmm. we have given our input and we have a standing committee from the commission. Mm -hmm. With the, the Department of Education, which mm -hmm. we have, mm -hmm. in, la, in, in, in collaboration with the Minister of Education, particularly Kenya Institute of Curriculum, which mm -hmm. we have done. Mm -hmm. Number two, that's uh, the, uh, the beginning. Mm -hmm. Number two, just a few months ago, mm -hmm. we have launched what we call the uh, National Anti Corruption uh, uh, Academy, mm -hmm. uh, which is at our Cliff, and I will mention more about Cliff. Uh, the, the Cliff is a Kenya uh, uh, Leadership Integrity Forum mm -hmm. at Gong Road. Mm -hmm. This um, academy, the purpose is, if we are not able to help the people who have already gone through and they are now public servants, mm -hmm. can we do something about public servants? Mm -hmm. Change their attitude and thinking, and when they come to our college, mm -hmm. we inculcate them those professionalism, mm -hmm. responsibility, and teaching them the office you hold mm -hmm. is a trust. Mm -hmm. And anything which is a trust, mm -hmm. you keep safe custody mm -hmm. of that. Mm -hmm. And that's what we are doing. Mm -hmm. More importantly, the, the, some of the issues which we are doing, mm -hmm. the day which we want to celebrate on the 9th mm -hmm. uh, of the, of the anti-corruption day right. is a public engagement. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. more importantly, if you look at the, one of the mandates, mm -hmm. is to develop codes of ethics for all public institutions, mm -hmm. whether it is the assembly, whether it is the county assembly, whether it is the county public mm -hmm. service board, mm -hmm. whether it is ministries, and mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm very happy that mm -hmm. all the institutions majority of them mm -hmm. have developed. They develop their code of, code of conduct and ethics. Mm -hmm. They bring to us. We go over. Mm -hmm. Once we are satisfied with it, mm -hmm. then it is gazetted as a document. These right. are some of the issues that we use to bring up about ethical uh, aspect of... Of, of, of mm -hmm. course, we also monitor uh, mm -hmm. whatever activities, particularly do the recruitments and mm -hmm. other issues when they are taking place. Mm -hmm. We have our own way of going in and try to find out is the system really being done as it is expected to or mm -hmm. there is maybe some sort of um, mm -hmm. uh, shortcomings. These are some of the aspects that we do in order to, to bring up the issue of ethical consideration and a prevention of corruption. That's, that's brilliant. Now, 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 you mentioned the day. The, um, on, it should be on Sunday, right? Yeah. That's the yeah. International uh, uh, Anti-Corruption Day. Yeah. Do you have a particular theme this year that yes. you'd like to focus yes. on? In Can fact, you tell us about that? Thank you. The theme, theme is actually uh, derived from the International um, uh, African, uh, International, U, the UN, the AMCAD, mm -hmm. United mm -hmm. Nations uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Fight Against Corruption. Mm -hmm. And uh, as the, the theme is winning mm -hmm. the fight against corruption, mm -hmm. a sustainable path to Africa's transformation. Mm -hmm. This is the one which has been done. And this is particularly, uh, if you remember a few weeks ago, or a few months ago, I was here also about the African International Correct. Corruption Day. Correct. This is now the international, but the mm -hmm. other one was African. African. Day. Africa. Right. And this is really in relation to that. And the mm -hmm. purpose, what is the objective, mm -hmm. is really to enlist the support of the public, mm -hmm. share with them what have we done, mm -hmm. what are we expected to do, what mm -hmm. is our role, what is their role, mm -hmm. what are the challenges, and what are the successes. You did mention in the theme that um, sustainability yes. is, is, is a key factor. Absolutely. It's not just important to initiate changes, but to be able to sustain them as well. Uh, what do you think is a main key to keeping all these, uh, to winning the war sustainably? You know, if, if I take you back uh, during the NAC government when it mm -hmm. came, one of the most important mm -hmm. aspects that the public really had in, in mind mm -hmm. was the fight against corruption. Mm -hmm. And we went nicely and at the end something, I think something happened. Mm -hmm. If you really look right now at the, 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 the head of state in mm -hmm. the last, after the, 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 um, the NAC, what, what do you call the Jubilee government came in, Correct. and uh, even right now the second time of the Jubilee, mm -hmm. there's a lot, a lot of public, I mean the high level support for the mm -hmm. fight against corruption. Mm -hmm. We cannot really continue things as usual. Mm -hmm. We are losing a lot of resources. Mm -hmm. When you look at every other uh, day, mm -hmm. the scams or whatever that come up is very challenging. Mm -hmm. This is really why we want to give the public their rights, their responsibility. Mm -hmm. This, uh, what do you call these um, uh, scandals which are mm -hmm. coming, it's mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. coming from, uh, the, from nowhere. Mm -hmm. It's a good citizen mm -hmm. who comes to PIP Mm -hmm. into one of the enforcement agencies. Mm -hmm. you know, and this is what we are asking. Mm -hmm. Can we all of us be part? 
let me say, we, we usually hold annual survey, mm -hmm. both of the national and the county governments, about the level of, of corruption in Kenya. And we found that 90% yeah, of Kenyans, yeah, 90, there's for, 10, uh, for every 10 Kenyans, nine of them say they come across corruption. Wow. Okay? That's not the end that's of worrying. This. That's worrying. That's not the story. That's not very worrying, by the way. Right. The most worrying is uh -huh. out of the nine, out of the ten, right. only one is willing to report. Really? Yeah. That's where we are. And that's troubling, yeah. indeed. That's where we are. This is where, it, by, by the way, as a, as a public, as a citizen, mm -hmm. It is unethical for you to see a crime being mm -hmm. committed, and you keep quiet. Mm -hmm. This is where we're saying, do I feel bad when I see somebody, you know, paying for a service that he is, uh, that is, free? Who is free? Or, or getting, free getting free service, a service that for where you're supposed to generate revenue for the country? Those These are, are, those are the pressing issues. questions. These are the, really the things we want the public to come and become aware. All right. Don't wait for ESCC. All right. Start with yourself. Now, um, in, 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 in preparation for uh, ninth, yeah. of course, as we wind up, my director tells me we've run out of time, but I'd like to give you an opportunity to appeal to the public. This is your camera. I would like you to express yourself um, in the run-up to the International Day yeah. for Anti-Corruption. Okay. Right? I, I, is there I, anything you would like that's in your heart or in your mind yes. that you would like to share with members yeah. of the public yeah. about this? Actually, I, I would like, first of all, uh, mm -hmm. I thank the uh, KBC and also the, the, the viewers for giving us this opportunity. Mm -hmm. And uh, as EACC, mm -hmm. we are really very proud of the public and mm -hmm. particularly the media and mm -hmm. the other other um, agencies for mm -hmm. really fighting, uh, making the fight against corruption very vivid. Mm -hmm. the, those who report, the civil societies and everybody. Mm -hmm. And we want that tempo to be even raised higher. Mm -hmm. As ESCC, we have a forum called the Kenya uh, Leadership Integrity Forum. Mm -hmm. This forum actually is, um, takes, is, is, is the stakeholders mm -hmm. with, that we have really uh, developed in the process. Mm -hmm. That uh, if I may go the list, it involves the ESCC, Please. which actually the Secretariat, it uh, includes the executives, mm -hmm. and here the executives mean almost every mm -hmm. And the anticipation is senior government officers from the level of PSs attend this forum. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So that at least they know what is happening about corruption and what they're able to do. We have the legislature, we have got the, the judiciary, mm -hmm. we have the labor uh, people, education in particular, the media, mm -hmm. very crucial, mm -hmm. and then civil society, mm -hmm. faith-based institutions, the private sector. Mm -hmm. Many a time people think corruption is within the public sector. Mm -hmm. you no. Know? The external factors that are not really, uh, the government does not trade among itself. Mm -hmm. It trades mm -hmm. with others. Mm -hmm. And these are the private sectors. Right. And we're very happy that through the president's request, mm -hmm. the private sector came up with a private bill, mm -hmm. a private bill which was mm -hmm. enacted in 2016. Mm -hmm. These are some of the people we have. The right. watchdog agencies, right. enforcement, and mm -hmm. uh, maybe professional bodies. Mm -hmm. You are a professional body, mm -hmm. you belong to a profession. I Correct. belong to a profession. Mm -hmm. What is our role in the fight against corruption? Fantastic. These are some of the things that we use to propagate and then give the people uh, about the fight against corruption. Right, yeah. right. Now, uh, I would, I would, uh, as a citizen of this country, and I would like to thank you for your service and for the commission, and uh, as well as our viewers who've been watching, who've been listening, I believe the challenge has been received. Charity needs to begin at home. Um, and, and before we talk about anti-corruption, yeah. the fight against corruption, yeah. let's focus more on the ethics. I believe that, for me, is yes. my biggest take-home, biggest takeaway, mm -hmm. and I believe uh, the same for our viewers. Yeah. Uh, let's focus more on our ethics. For those of us who are parents, let us take more care of our role as parents, as the initial indoctrinators of our children into the, what should be uh, the, 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 the principles of living this life. Let's teach them the right things and let's do the right thing ourselves. I believe that's a powerful message. Absolutely. Thank you, sir, for coming. Thank you so much. Thank you indeed Thank you. for coming. I really appreciate your role. I believe this subject is too big to be covered in one session. Thank you. But be, we will be with you on we the have, 9th. We have several other sessions which we are going to... Indeed. Uh, indeed, from in indeed. Other, other channels also. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. And uh, we will now shift gears over to Matters Business. And I believe our business people are in the studio uh, and have brought us the information. And I'm going to shift over to the other side of the studio and present the business segment of this bulletin. Thank you so much for watching.